Hi grade 11 student. So in this video, we are going to do asset disposal. I think it's part four, this one or part three, if not mistaken, because I already record some of the video, but I found that we also have to do this calculation so that I will also emphasize the issue of depreciation. Please make sure that you stay tuned once until the end. If you are coming here for the first time, please make sure that you left your sus subscription button so that you will watch more and more videos that we are going to do and the one that we already covered you can also go and check a playlist for grade 11 so that you can check the other lesson that we did okay now we have a question paper that have a partnership as well as, well as access disposal but for partnership i did a video separate you need to go and check that okay then information number 2.2 21 they said complete the following regarding the sales of only vehicle then it's nine marks to prepare this so nine marks is a lot of marks okay then information we are not going to read the other questions information they say that extract from the balance sheet for the year ended 28 february 2019 and they give us capital amount for two partner drawings those information we are going to use it when we prepare what appropriation account current account but for this one we're only looking for information related to assets disposal when we talk about assets disposal simple means that we sold an asset okay we have a vehicle a cost price of 360 accumulated depreciation they didn't give us at all okay and information number b they said that a vehicle the business have only one vehicle which was purchased on 1 31 august 2016 and they said vehicle are depreciated at 20 percent according to fixed installment method fixed installment method uh, is the same as straight line method okay we only use cost price to calculate what depreciation they say that vehicle was sold for 170 cash on 31 january 2019 with this information we can be able to prepare a uh, asset disposal okay let's start with the cost price on the debit side we have a vehicle uh, which the cost price is 360. We take the whole amount because they said business if only one uh, vehicle. Okay, then after that, we're gonna have accumulated depreciation this side. Okay, which we still have to calculate. Then after that, we have a bank. This was uh, sold by 170,000 cash. Okay, now we're gonna determine whether it's a loss or profit, but we have to calculate what depreciation first because we don't have depreciation at all, which means that we have to start from the day that they purchased this uh, vehicle until the last day that they sold it. So, this calculation is going to be a bit long. Then we have to say uh, it was purchased on 31 August. 2016 okay which means that we need to calculate the precession from there it's gonna be 360,000 by 20 percent we don't subtract the depreciation because it's a straight line method and we said maplabai. by if you count from 31 august until december uh, you're gonna get how many months it's gonna be september october november december it's gonna be four for over uh, 12 then you will get amount of 24,000 is the first part we are calculating for 2016 now we are calculating for the whole 2017 and the whole 2018 remember it was sold on 2019 we're gonna say 360,000 multiplied by 20 percent we don't count a month here because it's the whole year then it's gonna give us 72,000 and 2018 we do the same because it's the whole year of 2018 it's gonna be 360 multiplied by 20 percent it's gonna give us 72,000. then 2019 uh, is up to okay let me check it's up to 31 general war which means that it's only one month in 2019 2019 is up to january uh, 31 which means that we're gonna say 360,000 multiplied by 20% and multiplied by 
1 over 12 then we will get a depreciation of 6000 then if you add all this uh, it will give you an amount uh, of 174000 so there's a lot of marks here uh, 174000 as you can see uh, the other requirements we're looking for this information this calculation okay then but now we, we are only doing disposal but this calculation we needed on the uh, previous question that we didn't do okay now because we determine this one we can be able to check which side is higher 360 this side or 170 4 plus 170 this one is going to be higher of course 360 because this does not exceed 360 okay and this side is going to be 360,000 which means that in this case we sold it by a loss on sales of assets how do we calculate this you take this and you subtract the rest then it will give you amount of 16,000 very simple that's how you should simplify asset disposal make sure that the cost price that you record here is for only vehicle that has been sold everything is for only vehicle that has been sold or any assets that has been sold then you will get it very correctly i'm gonna see you on the next one please i hope you already subscribe and go and watch the other videos under playlist of grade 11 i'm gonna see you